know, we got totally healthy by that thing. And any other time, I say. You know, so we, we got a great relationship back. But then, this is a great story. David, this is old David, who was very quiet mm -hmm. for many, many years. And he started with Utrilla. I meant to bring Utrilla. Great 20th century painter who started painting in a mental institution in Paris. And he always had trouble through his whole life. His wife kind of helped him. Great pain. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. We just look up the trail. You love him. Mm -hmm. All scenes of memorial. So he starts painting there. And they said, geez, get out of here. But he caught on. The mystical paper towel. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> it is. Yeah, and, and all of a sudden you, you start getting all these directions from just the weave of the towel. And you can lay it on top of paint like that, and all of a sudden a little image stays underneath. So it's just that one play move to the next. These brushes are good, just thin, thick, you know, real easy. And then and new problems, and, and new getting lost, and new solutions. You know, just one after the other after the other. And you can always wash it off if you don't want to do it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can't, you can't lose any stuff. Easy for me to say, I'll stop doing an acrylic with a blank canvas, I'll be a little, a little petrified again. Oh, man. You gotta add something to it. So a lot of times, I think within us, it's almost subliminal. From what these were done yesterday, and you make this move, you still know that was there. You're going to be consciously then and say, well, I'm going to counter that move. Your, your instinct will just counter it. Mm -hmm. like, just like you're crossing a stream. You know, and all of a sudden, oh, I'm, I'm losing my balance. And you know, mm -hmm. you'll find it. Mm -hmm. And it just comes naturally, just like that. The drawn line is the first recorded expression and spiritual practice of our shared experience. From the cave through today, it's the same line. The workshop, through structure and spatial exercises in black and white, also putting together collage elements using sumi and other inks and cutting stencils. These various elements will be used for working on a large canvas together to clarify concepts and learn techniques while painting on our own canvases, referring to art history throughout the seminar. Together we can put into motion the shifting strata of our cultural inheritance through working on the infinite flat plane. All of a sudden someone will make some moves and go, Cezanne, there you go. So you've done Cezanne. A lot of built-in references. Benson started. Hiroshi is the same as Benson took from Hiroshi. And you trill and it's just a wall. That's how you start. How many what is your trill? Oh look at that. I just, it just, uh, all turn around my head. I hope this turn, right? Mm. Eh? Cloud bank. And then what, what to do with it. it? If that, if you have like a wet section, like a big wet section of media, and you just, it'll run and bleed like that. You know, but once you get used to all your different techniques, you just got them in your back pocket. You just throw them on there. That's why these, these guys are good. They make you do it. Oh man, I like that. Well, see, I can't paint that there. <laughs> Best stuff comes out on the palette. What do you call those um, knives? Oh, just a, a, you know, for spackling. That's, That's for spackling. Yeah, yeah spackling I have a couple. Of... <laughs> I never knew I could use them for paint. Ooh. I can't wait. Hey, try, try one of them on top of the calligraphy and see what happens. Just lay that on top of there and press it. And that black should stay underneath. And then I peel it back. Peel it back. We'll see what you got. The great reveal. I see it. Just get a hint of that stroke. Yeah. 